my name is Kadeem Richards. I'm currently a lay minister of the Church of St. Michael's and All Angels. I have attended St. Michael's approximately around 13 years old. Um, at my time at the church, I would have met possibly three rectors, if I'm correct. I believe Father Gray was a rector originally. Then there was Father Rohim and currently Father Gomez. In my life in the church, I've done multiple different activities, whether it be reading, doing a sermon, doing a psalm. I've been quite active in the church. I'm currently a lay minister. Before that, I was an altar server. And what inspired me to be an altar server was my uncle was also an altar server, and I am thankful that I have and was an altar server. Parish activities that we've had. Um, for our harvest usually means we come together and decide what games we would like to have for other children or parish members in the congregation to take part. We would also have activities like sometimes on a fourth Sunday we would ask all men in the congregation to come up in front of the altar and sing a song. It would have been, you know, changing our church color from red to purple. Changes within the church, where the church roof would have been changed, the hall would have been changed, certain things would have been renovated, um, we would have gotten a garden of peace, a wall of remembrance, youths would have gotten much more active within the church actually, because at times um, we used to wonder where the youths go. But we have been much more active and capable of things that we may not have known we would have been because a lot of our members as i've said actually do sermons and a sermon is not something very easy to do you know and especially when you have to break it down further from adult language for the youths to actually understand what you have to say, what you're saying and for them to actually take the message and probably share it with someone else. Other than that, we would have had a lot of prayer breakfasts where the youths would have been a part of it, helping. You know, also our Christmas dinner, the youths would either be ushering, we go to the bar. We, we are always here to help and we appreciate the, the chances we get to come out. Sometimes we may feel like it's a burden, but at the end, it doesn't really seem so. When they now come to you, you can do this for me, you can do that for me. It might feel like a burden, but at the end, when you actually get it done, you feel the difference. We've also had concerts in our church. Um, what was the, is it the Lydians? Was it the Lydians? Yeah, yes, it was the Lydians concert. The concert with the army, we had the concert with the police band. Um, we've had quite, we've quite had some fundraisers. We've had the set campaign. We've also had the, um, the soup Saturdays, the, I can't remember what exactly it was it is, but I know we had some sort of Italian food. We've had, quite a lot of fun reasons to help the church or in other words serve the church and serve God and we have been quite thankful and appreciative for all the members that have assisted come together it's really appreciated um, my most memorable moment would have to be when we had a sports day in south where we had a road trip <laughs> it was really exciting because the maxi wasn't really played no music so we had to come up with something else so of course being youths we had a speaker <laughs> and when we started to play the music it was like everybody was singing and dancing and just making noise and enjoying ourselves and then when we went on to sports that was a different thing, you know. When we got there, we meet up with everybody else, you know, how you going? 
long time man see you this that even though it's a competition it's still a come together because we have we don't usually see everyone all the time even though some of us may be in groups together it's kind of hard for us to come together because of our different regions but the sports day was most memorable for me because we had a lot of laughs, fun, who was wearing a wig. <laughs> wow. It was fun. And also, another memorable moment is when we have our prayer breakfast or where there'd be a lunch or something in the church. The youth would usually throw a car wash to raise funds. And the car wash is another fun activity. If you know a car wash, you know somebody you can get with accidentally. <laughs> so yes, it, it is quite fun. We do enjoy ourselves. So that's that's most important. The future of the church. I hope that we as youth in my department could even though we are in a pandemic, could still come back to what we were growing to and not let it just fade away because we have accomplished a lot over the past years and to just let it slip away after two years of a pandemic so far it isn't easy because then well we know there are persons leaving for school things will change when the church comes back to a whole a lot of things may be different but what I really hope is that the togetherness and the commitment and the community that we grew to be it does not change and goes undone because we have we have grown a lot i hope that we can really stay that way and grow bigger and better in the future we keep the ideas prosperous and flowing